What's going on YouTube? Today's video, I'm going to be going over my guesses for the third inning bosses. Uh, a little bit of stat background on why I think these would make good bosses and, you know, just my general thought process behind guessing these three. Probably won't get any of them right. I don't think I've guessed any but one right this whole year so far. So it just feels like there's so many cards in the pool they can choose from. They can make all kinds of different cards. So I, I don't really know. I'm just throwing three names out there. One of them's a new legend, the other two are already in the game, so let's get at it and let's see what I got. The first name on my list is Grady Sizemore Signature Series, 97 overall. I feel like this would be a good card, uh, you know, a good number for, for Sizemore's best card. Um, he was a good player for the Indians, just injuries held him down really badly. Uh, this is a beautiful card in my opinion. Uh, if we take a look at some of the stats, I'll pull them up over here for you. Okay, so if you look at Sizemore's stats here, you know, he he had a really good run between 2006 and 2008 before the injuries really started setting in. Uh, he had 33 homers in 2008, 28 in 2006, 24 in 2007. His batting average was the best in 2006 at 290. Uh, he had a 907 OPS and a 133 OPS plus. In 2008, he had a 876 OPS, 133 OPS plus. Uh, he finished top 10 in the MVP voting in 2008. So, I don't know. I feel like Sig Series is the top of the line for Sizemore, and 97 is a really good number for him because they could give him some decent pop and a, you know some good contact and good vision. I just feel like right now is the prime time to put Sizemore's best card in the game because he's not going to fit in later on down the line unless he's an event reward, and then people are going to be complaining, rah, rah, why don't we get Grady earlier in the year? I mean, even right now, Sizemore, even if they put give him a 97, I don't know, outside of Indians fans, who might use him unless his swing's glitchy. Who knows? But I, if you don't do it before too long, I feel like it's going to be too late on Grady. And if you look at it, it it's a beautiful card right there. Um, shout out to my dude, uh, Ryan from chat. Uh, you may know him on Twitter as MLB, what is it, MLBTS Card Art, MLB The Show Card Art. He does all kinds of great work, and uh, he does all this kind of stuff for me. So he's done all three of these cards today, so shout out to Ryan. You're my boy, Blue. All right, up next we have Paul Molitor, 3,000 Hit Club. He ended up with 3,319 career hits. Now, the thing about this card is they can do whatever they want to with the rating. A Molitor season where he hit three, got us 3,000 hit, he was actually pretty decent for the Twins. I know some people are going to be like, oh man, Paul Molitor Twins card, but he did get his 3,000th hit with the Twins. And if you go, go look at the stats from that season, and I'll pull them up right now. So if you look at 1996 right here, he led the league in hits, 225 hits. He hit 341 at age 39, 858 OPS, 116 OPS plus, 13th in the MVP voting. And he won a silver slugger. He was never like a truly over the top great defender, but this card would be a contact machine. Like I'm talking, it would have a PCI the size of my head, humongous PCI. Um, I don't know though, the more I think about it, you know, I think Molitor is capable of getting a 99, definitely a six series, um, a prime card or something. So this was just one I was like, man, if they're gonna do these, you know, cards with the uh the stats and things 3000 hit club paul molitor would make a lot of sense so this is one of the other cards i went with right here paul molitor 3000 hit club all right so when you come up with a new legend and they said there's a new legend so i'm gonna stick with dontrell willis i've been saying dontrell willis for three innings now the man needs a card this is the card right here prime dontrell willis 97 overall I think this thing would be disgusting. Let's let's check out the stats. You can see what I'm talking about. Okay, so if you look at his 2005 season, right here, 22 and 10, he led the league in wins, 263 earned run average. Uh, his whip was, you know, not amazing, but not bad at 1.134. Uh, he his home runs per nine, 0.4. Imagine that. He finished second in the Cy Young, 11th in the MVP, and he was an All-Star. Uh, that 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 year he was nuts. He was uh, he was really really good. I think that would be the year they'd have to do the Dontrell card. I mean, I know his rookie season he was an All-Star. He won Rookie of the Year. They could do a Rookie of the Year card, but statistically, man, I just feel like 
the 2005 season is the one they've got to focus on right there. I feel like that is the one. If we're going to get a prime Dontrell Willis, the best card we can have for Dontrell Willis, that would be it right there. Seven complete games, five shutouts. That just doesn't happen that much anymore. And this wasn't that long ago. I mean, it was just 2005, but you don't see that like right now. Six or seven innings is tops for most pitchers, it seems like. So, yeah, if I was going to pick a new legend, like they said there's going to be in the third inning, I'm going to stick with Dontrell. I hope it's Dontrell because I like me some Dontrell Willis. All right, so there you go. Those are my three predictions for the third inning program coming up this Friday. Paul Molitor, 3000 Hit Club, Dontro Willis Prime, and Grady Sizemore Signature Series. What are your guesses? Do me a favor, leave your guesses in the comment section below. I'm interested to see what some of you think about my guesses and what your guesses might be. If you're not subscribed to the channel yet, make sure to hit that subscribe button, man. It really helps out a lot. If you have, if you like the video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Uh, let's see if we can get like 15 to 20 likes on this video. That would be dope, and that would help out a great deal for the channel. Um, but yeah, if you enjoyed this video, like I said, leave me some comments. Let me know your feedback on the cards that I chose, and uh, you know what your picks might be for this Friday. It's gonna be a big, big week again. Two weeks in a row, and then I think we got Player of the Month the following week. So. Content is killing it right now on MLB The Show, so make sure to get on there and play, get that content, and have fun as much as possible, and just enjoy the game of baseball. Uh, until next time, you can catch me here, same buck time, same buck channel.